Hello everyone, welcome back to Peggy, playing every game ever. And today on stream we just finished Resident Evil Revelations. And overall I'm going to be giving this game a 7 out of 10. And if you didn't know, Peggy is where it stands for playing every game ever, where I'm going to try to play every game ever. And right now I'm playing through all the Resident Evil games, so you can come by and request any game for me to play. And I'll try it out, because I want to try any game that you're interested in and you think it would be fun for me to play it, then just let me know. I'm trying to play like every sort of game, every type of game. So let's get back into this. Resident Evil Revelations is overall a 7 out of 10 game. It's a far difference from normal Resident Evil games like Resident Evil 4 and the 2 and 3 remakes, stuff like that. Um, it changes from more Resident Evil style, which is more, you're just playing as one character, just going through the story, just killing enemies, picking up loot, and then just doing a boss fight every once in a while. In this game, it is more like a Call of Duty campaign, where you're constantly bouncing around between stories doing different things. Sometimes you're in a helicopter, you have infinite ammo. And this cinematic is at the beginning of the game, so it's not spoilery, by the way. This is me playing it on stream. That's me on the right. And so yeah, it's more like a Call of Duty campaign than a Resident Evil game. You're constantly bouncing around. So what are the pros? It is fast paced. It's a decently short game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because, I mean, doing this for too long would be... I mean, some games just drag on and I feel like this is a good game to only be eight hours around. It might have been a bit shorter for me. But that is because I'm familiar. But the gameplay is still somewhat similar to Resident Evil, where you still have weapons and you still but it is like Call of Duty you have different button for grenades you have you can switch through three weapons at a time you can upgrade your weapons so it's very different from the Resident Evil games in that regard so the pros would be that it's fast paced only eight hours and that is all I have written down for the pros but just because that I also have some mixed things here I'll get in I'll get into the cons. The story is all over the place. I have really no clue what the story was even about. Like, some people are evil that, like, you knew were evil the whole time. But then, I don't know, it just doesn't make really any sense to me. There's just evil guys and good guys, and that's about the depth that I got. Because, I mean, most of the Resident Evil stories don't have that good of a um, yeah, they're not too good. It's mostly just gameplay is the main thing, but there's just, there's usually just one objective in like Resident Evil games. Like Resident Evil 2, you're just trying to escape the, the police station mostly and just get to the lab and that's it. Just get to the lab south of the virus. In this game, there's three different boats and then you're just trying to get you're just trying to find something on the first boat and then you realize that there's actually a second boat the whole time oh i guess that's spoilers sorry but i don't know you shouldn't play this game for this story so what i'm mixed on is it's pretty linear i guess all the resident evil games are linear so that's up to you if you like that or not and it is somewhat like the old games where it is just actually i do not know why i wrote that down Res disregard that um yeah the campaign is more like call of duty that's the biggest thing about this it's the cam it's just like a call of duty campaign and the story is just all over the place those are the two main things about this game which, I mean, it's up to you if you like that or if you think you would like the old Resident Evil style more. But personally, 
I thought it was kind of cool how they kind of changed it, but because I've already played like a bunch of campaigns like Call of Duty before, like all of the new stuff that they introduce here is not really new, like just being in a helicopter and shooting a machine gun and stuff like that. That's not really n new. It's new to Resident Evil, I believe. At least mostly. But it's not really new to like any other game franchise. And that's why it's a 7 out of 10 is because of the... Because it is just like a Call of Duty campaign. Which really removed the Resident Evil charm from it. And like the only... And Chris and Jill are the only returning characters. And that's like the only way you'd really know it's a Resident Evil game. And the fact that there's a virus involved. Which is like every single Resident Evil game plot line. So yeah, overall pros, it's fast paced, it's only eight hours. So if you just like want a little game to just have fun, see some weird monsters, experience just an old game. Um, cons, the story is just all over the place and you just hop around a lot. And the final boss fight Oh yeah, last thing, the final boss fight was not very good because I do not really understand the dodging mechanic at all. I accidentally skipped the tutorial on that, but then I figured out later how to actually do it and it still didn't really seem to work for me. So I was just getting hit all the time. I mean, sometimes in Resident Evil games it can feel like it's like impossible to dodge stuff. Like, how would I ever dodge that? In this game, it happens a lot. Like, if I went at that final boss fight with less healing, I do not know how I would have done it. But of course, that's... I could have been doing something wrong, but that's just my experience. So, if you think you would just like a decent just 7 out of 10 game that just has some interesting monsters, it hops around a lot, it doesn't really stick to one thing for too long. So, if that sounds interesting to you, then... I would give this a try, but if not, then it's definitely fine to skip it. So I hope you guys will join me in my streams. I stream every day around 6 p.m. Central to 6 to 7 p.m. Central, and I'll be starting Resident Evil 5 next. I hope you'll be joining me. Have a good day, guys. Thanks.